ironically though, when I was in college, I did enjoy reciting. That, that's my toxic trait. Especially because I had some subjects where we talk about a lot of things. Especially with the professor, I loved reciting. My favorite course, I think, about sociology. It's like an optional one. I didn't have to take it, but I took it. It seems boring, but I think like when I actually read it, it was actually pretty nice. But, um, the professor was hot. <laughs> I only took that class because, like, the professor was hot. But I ended up, like, really enjoying her class. Yeah, that's the bad part. I wish I could go back and, like, actually study it properly. But at the same time, I do not want to, like, dedicate four years of my life studying sociology. I wanted a relation with my teacher. Yeah, my teacher was 75 years old. But as I say, I love powdered milk. I love grandma tea. Tea juice is like wine. The longer... And the older it is, the more valuable it is. I just assume it would taste nice. Honestly, I miss her. I hope she's never here. I hope my professor never hears that. When I say I love old women, I don't mean like 30-year-olds. I mean I love 60-year-old, 75-year-old women. In my defense, I think I would legitimately date a woman that is thrice my age. What do you like about them? Money? Oh, sorry. I meant, um... Their knowledge, their wisdom and knowledge is what I like most about 60-year-olds. Not because of the pension. Yeah, I love the wisdom that older women can, like, share with me. I would not flirt with an older woman just because she would give me money. <laughs> See, you should be glad I wasn't born a guy. Because if I was a guy, I think I would legitimately try to get, like, a 60-year-old, like, sugar mommy. Like, it's over. It's unironically over. I'm dating a 60-year-old. It's better to be into 60-year-olds than six-year-olds. It's better to be into six-year-olds than six-year-olds. Like, I would never hit on like a minor. There's just something about a grandma that gives me so much comfort. The wrinkles seem kind of hot, not gonna lie. And like there's something about like white hair that's pretty erotic. You sound like Rina on Twitch. I know, right? 